Hello everyone, welcome back to another video lesson. Today's lesson for grade 5, chapter 11, lesson 12, convert metric units of mass. Page number is 871. Guys, don't forget to subscribe my channel, Learn Math with Mr. Saad, and also press the bell icon to get notified for every new video. Okay. Let us start with this lesson. Mass is a measure of the amount of matter an object has. You can say that how heavy something is. Let's say uh, we have three units. One milligram is like a breadcrumb. Okay, you can see some breadcrumbs here in the plate. That is almost uh, one milligram. One gram is like a paper clip, and one kilogram a loaf of bread. Now, 1 gram is equal to 1,000 milligrams and 1 kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. So, when we will convert from grams to milligrams, we will multiply by 1,000. From milligrams to grams, we will divide by 1,000. You guys know this thing already. Converting from larger unit to smaller unit, you will multiply and from smaller to larger, you will divide. From kilograms to grams, you will multiply by thousands. From grams to kilograms, you will divide by thousand. Okay, let us start with this lesson here. Uh, a white tailed deer has a mass of 136 kilograms. What is the mass of the deer in grams? So, one gram is 1000, ki one kilogram is 1000 gram. So, 136 times 1000, 136,000 grams. Okay, here they are checking their answer. Let us move to the next page. Okay, uh, 1,500 grams to kilograms. Now we are converting from smaller unit to larger one. So we will divide by 1,000. Why by 1,000? Because 1 kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. So here, one, the remainder 1 and the remainder is 500. Or you can do it mentally, like 1,000 gram is 1 kilogram. And 500 gram, half of it, half kilogram. So you can say 1.5 kilogram or 1.5 kilogram. There is the answer. Let us move down. 1 gram, 5,000, uh, 1 milligram. So 5,000 milligrams divided by 1,000, 5 grams. 5 kilograms, 5,000 grams. 4 kilograms, 4,000 grams. Okay. Uh, 9 grams, 9,000 milligrams, multiply by 1,000, okay, here, uh, 2,000 milligrams, divide by 1,000, 2 grams, 80 grams, multiply by 1,000, 80,000 milligrams, uh, 0.75 kilograms, converting into milligrams, so first you have to convert it into grams, to convert it into grams, you have to multiply by 1000. So, as I told you guys, uh, when you multiply a decimal with 10,000, you count the number of zeros and move the decimal towards right when you multiply by multiply. And when you divide, you move the decimal towards left. So, we are multiplying by 1000. 1000 have three zeros, so we'll move the decimal three times to convert it into grams first. One, two, and we will put a zero and move it another time so it will be 750 and then we will multiply it by 1000 to convert it into milligrams so it will be 750,000 6 kilograms 6000 grams uh, 3100 grams uh, divide by 1000 3.1 kilogram 0 0.05 kilograms into milligrams so first you will convert it into mil into grams first okay to convert it into grams multiply by thousand move the decimal three times towards right one two and put zero another time it will be 50 grams and times thousand to convert it into milligrams so 50 times thousand 50 thousand milligrams okay similarly guys uh, 4.07 grams to milligrams from grams to milligrams times thousand move the decimal three times because three zeros in thousand 
one, two, and put zero and move it another time for zero seven zero milligrams. Nine kilograms, nine times thousand, nine thousand grams. Similarly, do these exercises, guys, and match your answers from the book. Okay, let us move to the next page. Okay, here. How many yellow uh, colored macaws would have a combined mass of one kilogram? So it uh, one yellow colored is uh, 250 grams. Of course, 250 times four, that is 1000 gram. That is equal to one kilogram. So four yellow colored macaws. Okay. Uh, explain to a friend, is the combined mass of two red footed macaws, two red footed macaws, where is it? This one, uh, it will be almost equal to one kilogram and uh, 50 grams like this. And three blue and gold macaws, three blue and gold, this one 800 times three, almost 2,400 uh, grams. So when you add all of them, that is equal to 3,450 grams, which is uh, when you round it, it's near to 3,000 grams or 3 kilograms. Got it, guys? Okay. Let us move down to the next one. Okay, here. Three different rock samples have masses of 583 grams, 256 milligrams, and 102 kilograms. List the masses of uh, rock sample from least to greatest. Of course, the least one is a milligram and then the grams and then kilograms one pound is approximately equal to 0.5 kilogram half kilogram so three pounds equals to how many kilograms one pound uh, one kilogram equals to two pounds because one kilogram uh, one pound is half kilogram two pounds one kilogram and another half so 1.5 kilogram I hope you guys uh, understand the lesson. Okay, let me show you where I can. Okay. I hope you guys understand the lesson. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel, Learn Math with Mr. Saad. And uh, also send me the homeworks through Pioneer. Have a nice day. Thank you so much, guys.